Hello there again, Corey Archer from Stretch Fitness, here with Lisa Gorse, who's training for the RCMP pair test. What we've done with Lisa for the past six months is we've been getting her ready for her testing, the physical testing, which involves cardio, strength training, a lot of heavy lifting. We want to make her stronger and faster. What we've got planned for today, as you can see, is kind of a mock pair test. We've done as much as we can to mimic what the pair is at the police academy uh, to, to, have this, to have it available for her to practice. So Lisa's going to run it, we're going to timer, and we're going to do it three times. Ready, go. So she's doing suicides for the cones, back and forth, back and forth, as fast as she can. She comes to the ball for 10 ball slams. That's it. She's then, in, then heading to the step for 10, 10 step ups. Again, a lot of these moves we design to mimic some of the uh, the, the, the implements or the, uh, the, the parts of the pair. A step is part of the pair test. So after 10 steps, she's heading over to the ladder for fast feet, more cardio, fast feet. The next part of the pair is the long jump. She has to jump over, down to the front. Ten more steps. Down, get down, get down, come on, get down, get low, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. After ten push ups, she hops over the hurdle, does a get up and get down, flatten her belly, hop, stand up, flatten her back, get stand up, hop over the hurdle again, jump it over, all the way to the end where she crosses the line in a minute and 24 seconds. So if we were to do that for three times, I would hope her time would get a little bit better each time as she got stronger and faster through the run, as she got more used to the run. That's Lisa today. She, she does her test in two weeks, I believe, so I'm really excited. It's been six months getting ready for it, so we're hoping she uh, kicks butt and does really well. So thanks for, thanks for watching.